the Race for Rares and EOS hackathons are back, the voice token is coming, and much more. Hello EOS Nation, I'm Daniel Keyes and this is episode 91 of the EOS Hot Sauce. As always, our spicy weekly updates are available in every format. Watch on YouTube, listen on your favorite podcast platform, or read it at eosnation.io. That's also where you can subscribe to the EOS Nation newsletter to get that spicy sauce poured straight into your inbox. However you prefer it, help spread the sauce by subscribing, smashing that like, and ringing that bell. Let's get to this week's spicy goodness. The EOS Hot Sauce Race for Rares is back. After a short break in January, the EOS Hot Sauce Race for Rares Season 2 is upon us. This season will be a little different than the first and will only last for two months. To participate in the race, you'll need to watch the video published at 1700 UTC and fill out a short Google form including your YouTube screen name and your favorite topic of the week. But you'll need to be quick. The form will be closed at 1800 UTC every week. Five spicy rare NFT winners will be drawn at random and our favorite YouTube comment will earn that week's golden chili. Modest prizes will be announced later on in the season. Good luck and we hope you enjoy the EOS Hot Sauce Race for Rare Season 2. You know what else is back? Block 1 hackathons are back. While we'd all love to attend more amazing in-person EOSIO hackathons like we did prior to 2020, the Beyond Blockchain Hackathon will be an online event that allows teams from all over the world to participate. While the exact challenge has not been revealed yet, the overarching theme for this EOS hackathon will be focused on innovation powered by both blockchain and cloud technology. Seeing judges from Galaxy Interactive and Mythical Games does lead us to speculate in a potential gaming aspect for the hackathon as well. While on the topic, this hackathon features an all-star lineup of judges that include Block 1 Head of Developer Relations Serg Medellin, VP of Blockchain Engineering Bart Wyatt, Google Developer Advocate Alan Day, Google Customer Engineer John Lee, Galaxy Interactive Principal Michael Fan, and Mythical Games co-founder Rudy Koch. Register now and get ready to start competing from March 2nd to April 6th. Winning teams will earn a share of the 61,500 US dollar prize pool, which includes 41,000 US dollars in cash prizes and bonus $20,500 USD in Google Cloud credits. We can't wait to see the innovation that comes out of this hackathon. Block1 was also active on-chain this week as they executed a planned rotation of votes. Block1 currently has two voting accounts, sub1.b1 and sub2.b1, which contains 20 million EOS and 74.59 million EOS respectively. As previously announced, Block1 is currently rotating through the list of block producers who've been contributing to the power-up model by providing feedback and testing the code on testnets. Congratulations to all of the teams who've earned Block 1's votes through active contributions to the EOS network. This is a beautiful example of EOS governance in action. We're also excited to inform our community of recent progress regarding the implementation of said power-up model. EOS Nation has proposed a series of four MSIGs that are required in order to deploy and activate the power-up model. The first two MSIGs, which creates the required EOSIO.reserve account and deploys the EOSIO contracts, are currently up for approval. The third and fourth MSIGs, which have yet to be created, will set the ABI for EOSIO.reserve and configure and activate the power-up model. These are exciting times in the world of EOS and we look forward to deploying the power-up model on EOS. The voice community is getting ready for a big update too, with the official launch of the voice token at hand. By the end of 2021, voice users may be able to access the real voice tokens and we assume, exchange them for other assets. While we don't have official release dates, we've gathered some interesting insights from a voice post written by Richard Wittner, VP of Architecture at Voice. Voice users are to expect a flurry of changes in the app, mainly in the areas of token supply and usage, as well as platform dynamics. Before the voice token is launched, the voice team will have to get approval from regulators in different jurisdictions while they strengthen the token infrastructure and optimize incentives for the token holders. Optimizing incentives for token holders would include reducing the inflation or supply of voice tokens, by reducing the daily rewards. There would be a fairer distribution of daily rewards where creators will get a larger share of the rewards. Voiceit is one important feature of the voice platform that gives users the ability to spend voice tokens to promote a post. This feature will be changed in some exciting yet undisclosed ways. And there'll also be a second token reset. All these changes could come smoothly, but there may be some glitches and inconveniences. So be prepared. If you notice anything weird, don't hesitate to reach out to the voice team. And while you're browsing voice, make sure to check out these high-quality posts. First up, the great piece by Philip Hammett of EOS42 called How the Success of Block 1 is Linked to EOS. Philip leads the readers on a journey that explains why Block 1's approach to building blockchain technology 
differs from many of its smart contract competitors. For example, the development of many smart contract platforms is funded through the sales of the protocol's token, leading to those platforms to require short-term pumps to increase the revenue the team can earn by then dumping their tokens on the market. Block One, being the most well-financed company in crypto, does not need to abide by the same old playbook. By analyzing Block One's motivation and business strategy, Philip paints a clear picture that aligns Block One's interests with the interests of the EOS mainnet. One of the more direct examples of these aligned interests involves Block One's EOS tokens, which represent just under 10% of the tokens on the EOS mainnet. Since the new power-up model enables stakers to earn their share of all transaction costs on the network, token holders will be rewarded as on-chain activity increases. Unlike Ethereum where network fees go to the miners, EOS tokenomics are different and correctly align with token holders who receive these network fees. As one of the largest token holders on the network, it's clear that Block One stands to benefit from the increased EOS usage. Next up, we want to highlight a very popular article written by EOS Nation co-founder and CFO, Vincent Grenier, titled, What is EOS and Why Should You Care? In the article, Vincent eloquently describes the numerous advantages of building on EOS and also highlights and destroys common EOS FUD that is often repeated by those without the deep understanding of EOS. The post clearly resonated with a large part of the voice community as it became one of the most popular posts, earning an impressive 11,000 voice tokens, 69 likes, and 20 comments at the time of publication. And finally, congratulations to EOS Nation ambassador Patrick Schmidt for his first voice post as an official EOS writer. Entitled EOSIO, The Birth of Multi-Chain Harmonics Universe, this article is the first in the EOSIO Ecosystems Insights series that aims to educate startups, developers, and project managers that want to integrate their platform with decentralized networks. It's great to see so much high-quality content on the platform, and we can't wait for the official launch of Voice later in 2021, which was also when the Voice token will go live. And it may only be a matter of time before we see even more high-quality content etched throughout the fabric of the EOS mainnet. EOS Rapid introduced a proof-of-concept for DAPSurf, a decentralized and censorship-resistant web hosting solution that the team is planning to launch on EOS soon. Currently, the smart contract is live on the Jungle Testnet, and EOS Rapid invited the community to test it. Along with instructions, you'll also find some example domains. Check it out and leave a like to reward the team for their work. It's a pretty straightforward process, so we did a little experiment ourselves. Since this version of DAPSurf is running on the Jungle Testnet, it's not safe enough for hosting important websites just yet. We'll have to wait for the EOS mainnet launch to deliver the robust security and decentralization that the future of web browsing will require. Congratulations to EOS Rapid and keep up the great work. The Graymask team deserves a round of applause too, because they've just made EOS onboarding a whole lot easier for iOS users. The Anchor Wallet 1.1 for iOS just made it to the Apple App Store, and it's coming with a new account creation process that simply blew us away. With just a few simple steps, users can purchase an account with Apple Pay, choose a fancy premium account name, and get a slick-looking ownership certificate with all the important information to secure your account. While currently only available for the EOS mainnet, soon this feature will be available for account creation on other EOS IO networks as well. You can find more details in the Graymass's official announcement, which we've linked to in the written edition of this episode. We're really impressed with the work the team has put into every detail of this product, and we encourage you to check it out. And while you're at it, make sure to leave them a good review in the App Store. They surely deserve it. Android users will still have to be patient for a bit, but rest assured the Graymass team is on it. Maybe while you're waiting, you can pick yourself up a limited edition Eve LaRose trading card NFT. The second round of the EOS Go cards distribution has begun and features a badass picture of our very own EOS Nation CEO, yielding weapons of warriors of different epochs, a medieval Bolova and modern smartphone. This Wax NFT collectible series features interesting dynamics that will see buyers of the Eve LaRose No. 5 NFT earn three more drops of popular members of the EOSIO community that are yet to be revealed. In this second distribution round, collectors also have a chance at winning a Wax prize. Read up on all the details of this promotion or go directly to EOSGO.io to purchase your Eve LaRose NFT and support the great work that the EOSGO does for the EOS community. The Emanate team's been doing great work too. After launching Alpha 1.0 in September 2019, there were only a few months of calm before all sorts of milestones began getting crushed in 2020. They took a look back at all the excitement of 2020 in a recent article that covers it all. They kicked off the year with their pledge for creative freedom. Emanate stands by this pledge, and many musicians from developing countries are already taking advantage of this easy access in and out of the global digital music industry. Musicians from around the world will always be able to start from nothing, 
sell their music on various streaming platforms, and make money from their creativity just using the EMT token. No bank or credit card account needed. Part of m pledge is to give artists a much easier path if they prefer. Sign up with an email address and password, get your credit card, and get started. With these two commitments, m mission is clear. Continue to deliver the benefits of blockchain to as many musicians as possible while building a sustainable financial model and token model for the m network. From there, m had a ton of news and events in 2020 and a whole lot to look forward to this year. Check out the written edition of this episode for the full breakdown. Congrats to m for a fantastic 2020, and we wish them continued success and growth in 2021. And last but not least, a shout out to the Pummel team. We've just learned that a Pummel USDT trading pair will soon be listed on the Hotbit exchange, and we love it. Starting February 9th at 6am UTC, Pummel users can deposit their hard-earned tokens and start trading on on the following day. Gamified fitness is undeniably a major trend, and Pummel's concept of allowing users to earn crypto for their achievements is putting them in a unique position to win the race. Have you tried Pummel already? The app is available on both iOS and Android. Let's go Pummel! And that's all for this week's episode of EOS Hot Sauce. We've got more spicy goodness for you every week, so subscribe, hit the bell, and stay tuned for the next one. If you can't wait till next week, find our previous episodes at eosnation.io or on our YouTube channel. Once again, I'm your host, Daniel Keys, and we'll see you again next week. Until then, let's keep it spicy.